Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel. Today we are reviewing Boba Fett. Um, this uh, model kit I built recently. And um, I didn't paint it yet. I didn't apply any water decals or stickers. And on its own it already looks amazing. Um, this build was really fun. Uh, a few points to note. <laughs> I made a video where I lost that little rubber piece. I found it. It was just next to my feet. I looked a zillion times. I found it. I don't know why. Uh, this build was pretty straightforward except for one piece. And there's this very, very, very teeny tiny piece here. This, this really small gray piece here on top of it. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. That is smaller than a rice bead. It's thinner than a rice bead. And you have to press fit it into the yellow um, knee pad. And that thing costed me quite a bit of trouble to get in there. So I'm not going to take it out ever again. Uh, once it is in there snugly, it works, works really well. Um, I recommend using something like this. Because that thing is super teeny tiny. Um, overall, the build, really beautiful. Tons of details. Of course, I didn't paint it yet. I didn't quite take away all the little knobs, etc. It's a bit... It's not clean yet, and I'm a I'm a new model kit builder, so you have to forgive me. It's just gonna take some time before I get to the skill set of some of you guys and girls. Um, it's just not gonna happen overnight. That's just taking years of practice. So um, yeah, be prepared for that. It's still gonna, it's gonna be a long progression, but nonetheless, um, this Boba Fett figure is fantastic. Um, it's really cool. It has all kinds of articulation points and. Man, if you're watching the Mandalorian show now, um, you probably want to pick up one of these kits and uh, repaint it. Or multiple kits. Keep one in Boba Fett's uh, gear and repaint one in sort of a uh, <clears throat> Mandalorian uh, color scheme and just adjust some p bits and pieces. Um, I think you can... Um, yeah, if you uh, if you use your creation a bit, you, you can come at pr 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 a good end. Um, really cool, it has a blaster, it has his uh, rifle, one trigger finger, again, only on the, the right hand, not on the left hand. Um, the uh, left hand only has an open hand, so he can hold the rifle. I don't know why uh, Bandai only choose one uh, side to actually hold the weapon with the trigger finger. Um, I wish both hands were available for all these kids, but they're not. Uh, super articulated figure. I'm not gonna articulate it all the way because I mean I don't want pieces to fall off, etc. But um, very beautiful kit. I man, I'm so happy that I'm got in these model kits. There's so much more satisfying than just buying your black series hair, uh, black series uh, figure, and uh, yeah, just quick and easy take it out of the the package and and display it. This is so 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 much more satisfying. Highly recommend anybody. That's watch this and is interested in model kits. Pick a few up and start building. They don't have to be really expensive at all. Uh, they're just tons and tons and tons of fun to play uh, with and uh, set up. It's just really cool. Highly recommend it. Hopefully you like this little uh, review video. I will be back with more videos. And uh, see you in the next video. Because the next build will be this guy behind me. It will be Clone Trooper. So thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.